It's tough enough, <laughs> just coming straight off the pitch now. It's tough enough, yeah. We do this drill called sausage bag drill, where it's, yeah, I just saw it there, but I don't know if you're watching, but like, it was, it's pretty tiring, but especially for the for nine, so I don't know how Marie's feeling, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, good to blow the cobwebs off and um, good, tra good training as the 20s as well. Um, really good opportunity for them kind of see what we're all about, so. I, I missed the end of it there, so that's kind of, it almost running the gauntlet, is it? Is that one of the... Ah, it's a thing that he, could, that he, that he calls a contact, car, contact corridor. Just getting a few contacts, getting a few hits in, get a, get the physicality up. And would that have been your first chance to see maybe some of those under 20 lads? Is that yeah. any of them kind of... Uh, no, we've seen some of them in, in the Leinster Academy. Um, likes of maybe Jack Anger, he's, he's, he's been in a bit, Ronan Keller, um, some some of the young lads. But um, but other than that, we have all the, the, seen, I've seen them um, playing against Italy and against France, obviously. So um, no, they're, they've got good, good, good potential and I can see the the blueprints of a poly, poly line out as well. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You see Paulo Connell's influence on the Yeah, 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 yeah. And was was out there today? Was he? He was out there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. And do you get a chance to chat to him, or is that a little bit later on? I just had a, a brief word with him. He was he was asking me something about um about body shape for one of the second rows, one of the taller second rows, about about scrum time. So he was just kind of uh, asking my, my my views on that. So like little chats, yeah. Devin, yeah, what's it like when you get to train in front of a big and eager crowd? Does it add a kind of an edge to the training? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. You can say that. Yeah, it's a lot different than training training beside uh, like a man's dog, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. No, it is like it's good when when you hear the crowd cheer and you, know, and you hear, hear everyone cheering you on. It's like it is really good, I and mean, it does give it an extra edge to it. And is that good on a week where you don't have a match? Obviously, it's not going to replicate a test match, of course. But is it good to have that kind of knowing people are watching if there is a mistake or knowing there's going to be a new or an hour? Yeah, no. It it it's positive. It um. Uh, it reinvests the images that 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 everyone around the country is behind you. Um, it doesn't matter where you go; that that, that the crowds are going to come out and see you. Like uh, these um, open train, training sessions are, are great in these weeks off, because um, obviously it sees what we what the what the team means to the country and uh, and, and what we can do. And it's a credit to to, to the area that many people come out to, to, to watch us, and uh, it it is really invi invigorating for for training. Yeah. You've had a couple of days to reflect on the Italy game, and obviously a week and a bit to reflect on the France game. Yeah. What have you taken from both so far? How would you rate your Six Nations campaign so far? Yeah, so so far we're pretty we're pretty happy. But I think what the one thing we're not happy with is we're not maintaining the performance for the for obviously the full eighty um, against Wales. We had a good sixty minutes. We put a lot of pressure on them. We uh, we scored tries from our defence, but then it was just that last twenty minutes that we knocked off. Um, we shouldn't let the we shouldn't let them three tries in. We just we just kind of switched off and and and. Uh, we saw in the France game we switched off for for five minutes and and, and they scored. So it's just the main thing that's coming out. We just can't be switching off. Yeah, we need to 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 maintain that performance. We can for the eighty. Have you identified why you switched off, or is it just a case of you're playing against teams with attacking threats? You're going to have chances no matter what you do. Yeah, like Italy are, are a really good attacking team. We, 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 you, you saw that from the tries they scored, but um, we have gone through the tries and and they're obviously little individual things that lead into it like when you're looking back at it it's the smallest things the smallest things that, that, that can help um, like even just getting one one guy around the corner means we're not we're not we're not tight in the, in, uh, in the rooks which means they're not getting it wide so there are obviously little little work on that, that we need to work on obviously it's not it's not it's not huge but it's just everyone needs to be switched on all the time if one person switches off then that can happen that's something that will come with games that's yeah you've had to together Hopefully that will improve the Wales game. Yeah. 100%. Like we're, uh, Faz is putting it up on the screen there for us to see, and he's doing it, so we don't do it again. Um, and and hopefully with that we're not we're, we won't. Yeah. So, um, before the before the evening game, um, you were having the team was really having a bit of a drought in terms of try scoring. It's been a while since the the, the team has actually managed to put a few across the line. Mm. Did the, the, the game come at the right time in the, in, the ter in terms of you know you kind of got your group back in terms of okay that's um, that's what it's like that's what we're, we're we're still a good team we're still able to you know we're still sharp enough to score shots yeah I think we are like I think we've I think we've proved in the past that we can score tries. Do you know what I mean? Um, we're 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 pretty proud of our squad. We're pretty proud of of, of, of our try scoring ability. Um, obviously, France in the state of France are are, are, a, are a pretty 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 tough side. Um, but yeah, no, like I'm not going to say it was it was a, it was a great time for Italy to come along. It was a great time just for for that week. It, 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 I don't know. It could have been anyone we we're playing against. I, I think we would have scored tries. But um, I, like I was just, we were 
pretty 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 happy that we that we got across the line. And we, but like I think we're as a team we're we'll back ourselves from anywhere. Yeah. Oh, it's not that you're underestimating the injury. It's just that maybe there was a bit more room there for the, for the. The backs to kind of really exploit that space, and maybe it's um, it kind of gives them confidence in terms of you know getting their group back in terms of you know um, being able to attack teams, having the confidence to attack and stay scotland in their heads. Yeah, well, I'm not going to say we lost our group. I mean, as I said, like as I said, the Stade de France is a hard place to go and 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 and, and perform, and I think we did well to get the win. But I, like as I said, like we're I don't, I don't think we lost our group. I think we we done pretty well with with, um, with our try score, and so. Uh, as it was a good good game to 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 get them back in, yeah. It's going to wrap up against uh, Wales and uh, obviously Wales and Scotland and uh, obviously mm -hmm. England and uh, uh, on St Patrick's Day. Yeah. Um, pressure is obviously going to go up. So does that mean that uh, you know you guys are going to have to um, obviously you know take it up another couple of levels as well. Yeah, obviously uh, Wales are going to be a huge test. Um, we're not looking at Scotland or England yet. We're obviously just looking at Wales. Um, and um, looking forward to get back to the Viva. Um, we saw the, the crowd. The, the crowd of the other game was was magnificent. Um, hopefully, we we'll get that again. I think like it always is in the six to home Six Nations games. Um, so like Wales proved that they're 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 a hard team to 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 break down. Um, I think they had a great outing against Scotland and they'll be, they'll be disappointed against England. Um, but obviously it'll be a huge test for us. Does the fact that um, most of the team is made up of discards, uh, you know, I think it's eight or nine of the discards team, I'm not going to say that you know what they're going to do, but you know what the two players are capable of in the club game. Does that make it maybe more, um, does that mean that you guys have an idea of how they're going to play and what the tendencies are? Going to no. Yeah, like like I think everyone everyone everyone's pretty familiar with it, with, with all the Wales players because we we play we play against them week in week out, and we all know them individually as well. And um, they're obviously a different team collectively. Um, um, but yeah, as you said, like everyone's pretty familiar with all, with, with all of them, and I think we, we all know their traits at, at this stage. Um, it's just a it's just a matter, a matter of fact of managing managing them. Yeah. These so down weeks without the weeks that you can kind of get through most of the work you've been down here a couple of days now. When you don't have a, a match at the end of it, you can obviously you're talking about Ali Farrell behind the scenes there. Yeah, yeah. Is that when you can get through most of the work? Yeah, we do get a lot of work uh, done. Um, as you saw, like today was the was was one of the more physical game, physical days. Um, the mostly what we got done on Tuesday and Wednesday was kind of mental, kind of mental work. So we we kind of got the recovery in, and then and that's when we, we kind of. Got the, got the mental side of, of, of the training, what we do. Uh, getting through what moves we're going to do. Uh, yesterday we had a bit of a walkthrough, a bit of a run out in, in AIT. Um, so and today was the, was the physical blowout. And then we'll get a few more days off to recover and we're back in Sunday night. So it's a, it's, it's a really good week just to get um, get our plays and get everything sorted for when we get back in on Sunday. Everyone, everyone knows the role, so then we can uh, hit the ground running on Monday. How important are they in the context of a, of a championship? Because obviously you've got one before the final game against England. They're always kind of regarded the down weeks yeah. yeah it's hugely important um like we're eight weeks away uh, a lot of people have families and young 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 kids to get back to so I think they're 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 really important to just to switch off and get them a couple of days off at home um, I don't think it uh, I don't think the wives and partners get enough uh, credit for for what they go through in Six Nations weeks when everyone everyone's away for so long so it's a really good uh, it's a really good um, way to get back to them and, and kind of and get home and relax for a while, yeah. Yeah, and uh, obviously today we're in the home club of Robbie Henshaw, and injury unfortunately has ruled Robbie out for the remainder of the Six Nations. How big of a loss will Robbie be to the squad and um, for the rest of the competition? Robbie's proven over the last couple of years that he's that he's been massive for any team he's played for. He was massive for Connacht. He's been he's he's been massive for us when, for for Leinster when he when when he's come and he truly is one of the one of the one of the great players. Um, saying that, I've I've always said we're very proud of the strength and depth that that, that Joe has kind of uh, delivered with the squad over the last couple of years. And whoever comes in to take his place is going to do a good job. Um, and 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 we're gonna and we're gonna have faith in whoever comes in and, and does it. But um, like uh, Robbie is a, is a, is a big loss, yeah. Cheers, lads. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks,